Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel and thanks to the major generosity of good friend of the channel, Mike. Uh, I am honored to be able to take a look at the Legacy Evolution Commander class, Armada Optimus Prime. Yeah, you'll notice I'm still wearing gloves. I'm still protecting my family because as of this recording, I'm still recovering from being sick. Blah. It has not been fun. But Legacy Armada Optimus Prime, not my Optimus Prime. Didn't think I'd get a chance to look at it. Have only ever heard good things. Detested the original. This one has to be better, right? We're going to see in the latest Got By True review. Hey one hail, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe. And while you're at it, light them up, baby. Hit the notification bell, helps me out a ton. Let you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that's in the description down below, also in the description down below. And if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring or of course hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. And I wasn't gonna get this, I wasn't gonna look at this, but then Mike contacted me and said, hey, I won a spare um, Legacy Evolution uh, Armada Optimus. I'm gonna send it to you because I really think you should take a look at it. It's it's fantastic. So who am I to you know look a gift horse in the mouth? Uh, I am very glad that I get an opportunity to look at this guy because I've only heard amazing things about it. I don't know a lot about Unicron Trilogy, but I do know that we have uh, a vehicle mode. I know we have a robot mode. I know we have a base mode, and then we, I know we have a combined mode. We're going to cover all of it when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And so, yes, indeed, we're taking a look at the Commander Clash Transformers Legacy Evolution version of Armada Optimus Prime. I detested the original Armada Optimus Prime. I didn't like anything about it. I thought the small bot was okay, but of course, where it was made with some gold, I said. Hey, you never know if that's going to break apart because when this was made originally, GPS was still a thing that existed. Thankfully, those days are gone. But the real tragedy of the original is the combined mode. I get that there was the whole gimmick where the base, the lower body transforms on its own. But then it has like no articulation and at least in a couple of instances, it was known to have the electronics malfunction and catch on fire. That does not sound like a good Transformer or a good offering or a good Optimus Prime to me. This came to me thanks to good friend of the channel, Mike, who actually won it. He already owned one or had one. Uh, so this was like a double for him and he sent it my way saying basically, hey, you should really take a look at this. It is an excellent commander class offering. Is that the case? We're going to find out together, of course. This is the packaging. This looks splendid on the front. I will note that this packaging is a little bit deceptive, really, because there's a lot of dead space above and below in the packaging. And really, the cab and the trailer and the couple of accessories are just in like a thin band that goes across the middle of the box. So this box did not need to be this big. That said, beautiful artwork on the side, on the front over here. Over on the side we have, I like this transformation scheme as we go from robot to partial truck to full on truck. I think that that's really cool. I kind of really, really like that. Uh, over here we have our typical half of a, um, I guess Legacy Evolution artwork. And on the back, of course, we have the combined mode, we have the uh, smaller robot mode, the base mode, uh, and of course the truck with the trailer. Hopefully I keep all of this um, in mind as I do the transformation. Again, this is not my Optimus Prime. I hope I do everything um, correct. If not, I'll do it close enough. But that's it for the packaging. He also comes with a pretty ginormo sheet of instructions. There's a lot to explore with this guy and a lot of moving parts. And here's everything that comes in the package and he is a big honk and chunky 666 grams of plastic. He is one of the larger commander class offerings actually and I think that that really works in his favor because while it's not my Optimus, I have often said that you know what, fans of other eras really deserve their comeuppance, really deserve to get the updates that us G1 fans have been enjoying for a long time. 
And starting out with a real, true, blue, big, hefty commander is a great way to go. He comes with this um, blaster right here, which is a nice big blaster. We can put that right there in the trailer. And this piece, which is actually very versatile, it's used for a number of things really, um, including being, um, I guess the like trailer hitch, I suppose you would say. I guess that's the best way of, of, of explaining it. And um, when it comes to this piece, it's going to slot in way in here and allow the trailer to, of course, go attached. But the trailer is not quite ready to go attached just yet to the vehicle. So we're going to take this out of it. By the way, this rolls just fine. Yes, it's very long back here, but so is the original. So is the show. So it makes sense. It's the way it should be. Great looking cab. The use of translucent plastic, I think, is actually done very well. So we're going to take that cab out of it for just a moment. And then this piece, I hope I'm doing this right, um, will go, like I said, fixed in here. Now, to, uh, worth noting that these two blue sections underneath, they do come out. I do find the hinge that they are on to be... Uh, there, a little bit of a chore. That one comes out. And now, come on. There we go. Bring it down and bring it out. Now, I'll also say this. If you want the trailer to just stand up, you can bring down that stabilizing leg and that stabilizing leg. And that will help the trailer to stay, you know, solidified just fine. Now, I just want to consult the instructions for a minute because I want to make sure that I'm attaching this part of the trailer correctly. And it moves so many ways that I, I, I could be doing it wrong. Um, let me just make sure here that I'm not doing this wrong. That should come up and it should be, yeah, like that, I believe. So, this whole piece is folded over like this. We should be able to fold this up and fold this up, and then it should slot in here and go into that hole, allowing this peg to go pegged into the cab section. I really hope that this works just like it's supposed to. Looks good so far. We're going to bring in the cab section, and there's a, a hole right here for the record. We're going to fold those stabilizing legs up, and yeah, there you go. This rolls just fine. Oh, hold on. I think I made a boo-boo there. Where is that peg hole? There we go. And yeah, this rolls just fine. Optimus can like turn side to side. So yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's great. It's a wonderful truck, honestly. So we're going to actually take this off and we're going to take the cab out of it again and we're going to put the, um, I guess the trailer into the um, base mode and then we'll look at this guy after. So we're going to take that out and again, I'm going to bring these stabilizing legs down for now. And we're going to put all of that off to the side for now. This is a really impressive trailer. I like it. If I was to pick out one nuisance, it's that I find you really have to <clears throat> do a lot of kind of retransforming back to the way it was in order to get it to the way you want it to be. And I hope I'm doing the, the like trailer <laughs> base section correct. So we're going to remove that again for now. We'll, we'll get back to it in just a little bit. We're going to Actually, um, I think leave those down, if I'm not mistaken, and bring that in, and bring that section in as well. Then we should lift this up, and I think we're going to bring it all the way up, and maybe even turn it around. I think. We'll see as we go. If I'm doing this wrong, I apologize, because I'm trying to do it now from memory. And we should be able to open the sides there. And same over here, open that side and 
that side and bring up these legs and I think fold that down thusly and fold this back thusly um, and I believe turn it around like this now yeah this yeah this looks right I think I think I hope we bring that section down and have these work as stabilizers and we're going to um, bring that back up and bring that down. We're going to bring this back up and this back down. Those stabilizing legs in behind that we had back here, they now go up into like the robot mode kneecaps to kind of hold all of that in place. I'm pretty sure that This piece mm, also comes up, if I'm not mistaken. And then we should be able to take this piece and now not using the peg hole on the front, but the peg hole on the top here. I believe, or am I, or am I doing that wrong? Oh no, I am doing that wrong. This folds up and we still use that same peg hole that we used before in truck mode to put that in. And boom, here we have the base mode. Um, and I think actually I can leave that down. And I guess Optimus could stand on this or whatever. This is neat. I mean, I don't have anything against this. We're gonna lay this aside for now. We'll see it when we get Optimus from his cab into robot mode. But you know what? Basically you need to undo the um, flaps on the legs Spread them um, to the sides as if he's doing the splits. Flip up the very front piece and open out the treads on the back. And those stabilizer legs, they go up over the like golden kneecaps that will be the combined mode legs. A little bit cumbersome to get here. Once you've done it a couple of times, it's not too bad. Uh, I just feel like, again, I'm having to like undo flaps and then redo flaps. It's just, I don't know, I find it a little bit of a nuisance. Not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Let's get to the cab. Okay, so again, like I said, this rolls really well. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, these silver arm blasters, um, I guess you could call them smokestacks. I put them on the side of his arm because that's the way it was in the cartoon, but these are detachable and they were uh, unattached in the package. They can, if you're so inclined, also go affixed to like the side, the two sides of his main blaster, if you want to do that. Personally, I like them on his arm, so I'm going to leave them right there, right where they are. Okay, so to do this transformation, we're going to come here and pick off the front, which by the way does house a matrix. We'll look at that a little bit later. And then we should be able to pick the kind of front sections off and angle them out. One of mine, I think the one on this side was super tight at a package and kept popping off. I think it's loosened up a little bit now with time. So open that out, bring that out, cool. Then these arms can come unattached from the side and you can bring them down and bring them down. This whole, see, I just popped it off again. I'm gonna get that piece back on but in the meantime, we can bring the whole chest piece down and solidify it uh, down right there for now. Let me just get that piece that I popped off on. That's my fault, not a fault of the mold. Okay, pardon that cut. So yeah, I got that piece back on. Let's come down here to the legs. We're gonna open up the shin and we're gonna bring out a toe. We're gonna open up this shin and bring out a toe. Close the shin, close the shin. We're going to rotate these pieces down. We're going to pick off uh, the two little hip flaps and we're going to open those legs and pick off the back. We're going to solidify, make sure that these pieces are together, and we're going to solidify the tummy section down. And now we should be able to bring out and angle down a shoulder. And same over here, bring out and angle down a shoulder, there, there, and 
I should be able to stand this guy up because boom, we should have this guy in his robot mode. So while my Optimus is the 86, I can't lie, this is a great modern day Voyager size. It would be the same sort of height as like, I don't know, Earthrise Optimus or um, Tarn or Cyclonus or Siege Megatron, something like that. Except this guy has a lot of bulk and heft and all of this beautiful silver paint. So I'm just going to take this Optimus out of it, who's a little more like old school Voyager, modern leader class, if you will. He holds his blaster just fine and does indeed have the strength in his arm to hold it up just fine. We'll talk about his articulation shortly. The chest can open and this kind of all goldy matrix does come off. It's a very simple matrix, unlike the one, say, that came with the 86 Optimus. It is, and I have it over here off screen because I'm looking at it now, it is translucent plastic that's been painted gold. The way it holds on is over this nub, and it closes up, but it does come out. He does have his matrix cool. I do wish that the fingers opened uh, and closed so that he could actually like hold that matrix. But you know what? I'm happy he has it. Uh, in terms of look for the guy, like, man, this is pretty darn close. I'm not uh, really giving scores per se just yet, but the reason is because we have, you know, a lot to go through. I can say this, that starting from the feet and working our way up, like all of the legs look quite good. Um, the gold on the side of his hip skirts looks good. The gold on his forearms looks good. I wish though it wrapped around his forearm a little bit more. The gray on his uh, elbow, that shouldn't be gray, that should be gold. Um, the like yellow gold lights, the silver all there, the yellow on his head, the yellow eyes, everything with the head is all good. But the only gripe that I could levy here is the um, elbow being gray instead of gold. And you know what, they may have done that because they had, you know, a fear that people would be afraid of gold plastic. So very, very strong start. Uh, the articulation, head goes left, right, up and down. The arms go all the way around, well out to the side, <coughs> pardon me, uh, elbow to well over 90 degrees, bicep swivel, um, wrist rotation, yeah, wrist rotation, uh, the legs can do, <coughs> I'm still recovering, sorry, I've been very sick and I'm still recovering. I still have a lingering cough. Uh, but legs all the way out to the side. Um, the legs can go forward on ratchets. Lifting up that back skirt, they can go all the way back. Uh, heavy ratchets on the knee. Thigh swivel, ankle tilt very deep. The only thing that this guy doesn't have, and it is a bummer, is waist. He doesn't have a waist, but because this has to kind of come apart, to be his body, I under, like for the combined mode, I understand why we don't have a waist. One little gripe, not a deal breaker at all because everything else that this guy does, he does so buttery, smooth, excellent, but it is a gripe worth noting nevertheless. So, um, you know, even with this in hand, here he is with his base, and man, I think this looks pretty formidable. Like, I mean, this looks like an Optimus Prime, you know? It is what it is. now. At this point, I would say that his coloration and his look is somewhere around a nine and a half. The elbows, that's about the only gripe I have. The transformation, I would say is about an eight. And the reason I'm saying an eight is because uh, that shoulder piece does like to pop off on mine. And I do find going to the base mode, the leg panels having to undo them only to do them up again is a little bit cumbersome. Uh, the articulation, I'm going to say, is an 8.75, and that's only because uh, he doesn't have a waist, even though I understand why. So, you know, with an 8, an 8.75, and say a 9.5, I would say right now, before going to the final combined mode, I would say that this guy is scoring an 8.75 easy, maybe a 9. It's a very, very excellent Optimus. 
And the reason that I give this score at this point is because up to this point with the original, he was doing okay. The small robot was all right, and the base mode was all right. But now we get to the crux of this. Now we get to the meat of this, which is that combined mode. We're going to deal with the, um, I guess, the trailer section first so that we can get his, like, legs and <laughs> back and stuff sorted together first. And then we'll deal with his upper body after. Okay, so I'm going to begin by taking this off. You can do it leaving this piece in, but honestly, I just, I find it better if I, for me if I take it off. I'm going to put that down and I'm going to lift this up. Um, where do I want to begin with this? I guess I'm going to pick these pieces up and I'm going to take these pieces and put them out to the side. I'm going to bring down a leg and fold this piece down and bring down a leg and fold that piece down. I'm going to turn this around. Actually, I'm not going to turn this around. I'm going to turn this around and then I'm going to turn all of this around. There we go. I'm going to bring down a leg and I'm going to or bring down a foot and bring down a foot. I'm going to bring this down. You might say, oh no, got bot, but now these are just facing out. We do need and I forgot about this, I suppose you could say, we do need to, and this is part of that like transformation scheme that I find to be a bit of a bear and a nuisance. We do need to take this out and fold this in. Then we can, see? I don't like that one hinge. Fold that in, bring that down. There, we gotta do the same over here now. In case you didn't see it, I'm actually going to fold this back up. We have to, again, using that hinge, and I don't like that hinge. There, we bring it out, we fold it in, we bring it in. We bring this down, and we bring the foot back down. I'm not going to lie. Personally, those stabilizers, um, when I do the transformation to both base mode and this mode, I don't even use them. I don't even take them out. Um, I, I don't like the way that they were done. I find those to be cumbersome. Let's bring this down on the side, this down on the side, and this down now on the front. And we're going to now bring this red piece up and out. Now, and I'm going to bring this down here. And all of this is back for now with this opened out. Now, I'm going to note that the way that they kind of tell you to do this whole section here is to sort of plug this in and then just sort of like leave it hanging out back here. That's not what I do because I find that that doesn't look very clean. So for now, I'm just going to leave that like, like it is with this unattached. And this is his lower body and legs done. No, it wasn't an auto transformation like the original, but I can already tell you that even with that one little nuisance out of the way, these legs are infinitely better than the originals. Let's lay this aside and go back to the smaller Optimus robot. Okay, so now we're back here again, and we are going to kind of transform this guy mostly back to his truck mode. Um, not exactly, but close to it. By the way, I'll also note that this piece here, this can come out, and if you want, I've seen people like put it in on the side right here. I mean, that's up to you if you want to do it. It's nice and textured detail though, so I really, really, actually really like that. We're going to, um, let's see, we're going to bring this uh, shoulder back up like the truck, bring this shoulder back up like the truck and bring those in. We're going to also open a shin and not just fold in the toe, but we're going to fold out the hand and close the shin back up. We do not rotate the tires back up. We leave them down as, pardon me, my battery died at an opportune time. Um, so we bring up the full front as though we're going back to vehicle mode. We bring in the shoulder pieces as though we're going to truck mode. And we can even sort of collapse the arms like this. They're not coming up on the side this time. We're just leaving them there like that. Then we're going to, actually, I'm not even going to leave them there like that for now. 
we're going to fold the body sections out. And see, I just knocked that piece off again. All the time. All the time. There. And now we're going to try and get all of this in under the arms. This is why you got to get the arms sort of done in this manner. Bring this down and rotate an arm. Bring the shoulder down, arm and rotate it. These need to go on the back here, in and in. Sheesh. That can even go up and over. And now I need to get these shoulder pieces in. We can also come back here and bring up this headpiece and bring out these ear pieces. And even though I need to fix again that piece that popped off, this is basically what we have for the upper body. Uh, let me just do some of the fit and finish stuff and then we'll put the upper body onto the lower body. All right, now that I've got this piece on again, um, just a couple of the fit and finish things that I didn't mention. Make sure that you have this piece pushed all the way up. And these arms don't stay out like this. There's a rectangular peg right there that goes into a rectangular slot up there. So you peg that one in and you peg that one in. I, again, leave these here. And if you come to the front, you can push this down a little bit and rotate that piece around if it wasn't already done. Okay, now we're going to put this guy um, into the robot mode. Actually, I think perhaps I'm supposed to leave all of that back, if I'm not mistaken, and bring these pieces in on the side. And again, that comes off. This always comes off. That's, that's the only bummer with the transformation. Okay, now, and I was right, I did need to not transform the front here, I needed to leave it back because it goes down to a slot down here. And then this piece will come up over the top and go into two rectangular ports that are on gray sections kind of on the side of his head. I'm even gonna bring his little gold ear pieces uh, ahead a little bit so I got extra room. So this should fit, I thought, That the whole thing fits in here. Sheesh! I had trouble getting that in. I don't normally, so that's on me. Um, then this red section, you heard it snap in there. You heard it snap in there. Bring those up. Then this whole thing comes up, and you heard it solidify in there, and the red piece goes up right there to keep it all in place. Now, that only leaves back right here. And the way that you're kind of told to do it is really kind of sort of just like that. But I think that looks terrible. So personally, I like to open it out, bring it all the way up, even though it does give him quite a backpack, and rotate this around close it up, and bring the whole thing up on his back. That's what I prefer to do. I think that that's a lot cleaner, and I even fold those up. I think that's way cleaner. Does he have a backpack? Yes. Do I think it's cleaner? Yes. And of course, the blaster can go in his hand. And boom, in the end, here we have Armada Optimus Prime Super Mode, or Armada Optimus Prime transformed into his Super Mode. And man, come on. So, if we look at the, I guess, the coloration of the guy. Starting from the feet and working our way up, I mean, the black is correct, the blue, the gold, the gray on the thighs, the gold on the sides of his hip skirt. I do wish his hip skirt were three separate pieces, but I'm okay with it the way that it is. The blue in the center of it, um, the uh, kind of silvery gray detail right here on the side. 
all of the, you know, gold in the Autobot logo, the gold on his shoulder, both the upper and lower, the gray on the biceps, the blue arms, the gold hands, uh, the gold on his ear wings and mask and, and the top of his head. All of that is correct. I mean, 10. Honestly, 10. The transformation to get here, I know I stumbled over a couple of little things, such as the stabilizers going into the knees, um, as well as getting the grill section down to the body. And of course, I do have that one piece that likes to pop off. It's not a deal breaker, it's just a nuisance. But those little gripes aside, the transformation is actually really smooth. And once he's together, he is one solid hefty chunk. I'm going to give the transformation here about a, um, I'm going to say nine for sure. I'm going to say easily a nine. Let's do the articulation for the guy, and then we'll give him an overall final score. So, when we do the articulation for him, we have a head that goes left, right, looks up, looks down. The arms are on ratchets. Ooh. The arms are on ratchets. They go... Not all the way around. I think they go all the way around. I think that's just me. Yeah, they do go all the way around. My mistake. Um, arms all the way out to the side. Bicep swivel, elbow to slightly over 90 degrees, wrist swivel. The hand, fingers open and close on a base pin knuckle. The thumb doesn't do anything. It's too bad that the um, <coughs> button section here, the hole section, whatever you want to call it, doesn't retract <coughs> like it does with Siege Jetfire. Uh, the guy has a waist. Uh, side hip skirts go up to get out of the way so legs can go all the way out to the side. Uh, the front hip skirt is one piece, but it'll get up out of the way so that you can, you know, get all the way forward. Uh, the, depending on how you do the transformation, the legs can go all the way, well, not all the way back, but they go well back. Uh, thigh rotation. I mean, the knees are 90 degrees on heavy ratchets. Uh, ankle tilt, I mean, what is it that's, that's not to like, honestly? I mean, honestly. Um, gotta get that little piece up, that in. I don't know, I mean, I guess if I wanted to nitpick, I could say individual fingers. If I wanted to nitpick, I could say this retracting, but it's nitpicking. This is fantastic. I'm going to say that the articulation is a solid nine for sure. Uh, really, a solid nine for sure. So he was getting, before the su super mode, an 8.75. With a nine for the transformation to get here, with a 10 for the overall look, and honestly, I'm gonna say an easy nine for the articulation. The guy here is saying 9.25. I'm going to say that this version of Armada Optimus Prime is easily a 9 out of 10. It is tremendous. A couple of niggling little gripes with the transformation, but that's just me. And that's probably more subjective than objective. I think that this is the Armada Optimus Prime that Armada fans always deserved, always should have had. And whatever gripes do exist, they are super minor for what is otherwise a tremendous Optimus Prime offering. And here we are once again, and here he is in his parts. So, let's kind of talk about the vehicle first. I mean, this looks like a weird long truck, but you know what? It's solid. It functions just fine. The transformation is fairly intuitive and easy after you've done it a couple of times. Um, I kind of really dig the way the shoulders move up and down and the chest comes off and collapses. We get a serviceable robot. Granted, it's a bit disappointing that he doesn't have a waist, but a small price to pay for everything else that the robot does quite well. Um, I do think that there's a couple of things where, I mean, it would have been nice for like the hinge on the elbow to be gold, but I understand why you might avoid doing that. The coloration is not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Again, for Commander Class, I would have liked to have seen a, um, a um, waist, but I understand why it couldn't be incorporated. Transforming this guy to his half uh, combined mode robot is a little more cumbersome and a little more involved, but again, I feel like that level of engineering fits the Commander Class level. Then we get to the trailer. 
And the trailer and package, of course, came like this. Um, moving these pieces out is a bit of a chore. <coughs> Pardon me, I still have a hacking cough. Um, I just find the hinge very tight. Going to base mode is cool, and once you get there, it's neat, but I feel like you got to untransform so much and then kind of tab it all back together after you move certain parts that it's a bit cumbersome. Transforming this, however, to the uh, like robot mode pants, I guess you call it, I think is pretty intuitive, pretty easy. And I thought that the big backpack was going to be more egregious to me than I thought it was going to be. So I love the vehicle mode. I think it's a great truck. I think this is a great robot, just missing a waist. And I think the base is okay. I just find going to it a little bit of a cumbersome chore. Then we get to the combined mode. Uh, makes the original obsolete, obliterates it, take the original that was utter trash and garbage, run that over with a steamroller because it's not worth the plastic it was ever made on. If you like it, I don't understand why. I'm not even going to say, if you like it, you know, I respect your opinion and blah, 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 blah. I don't. It's garbage. Have higher standards. It was not good then and it's not good now. Do yourself a favor, set that on fire, if it hasn't already set itself on fire, and go out and get this. This is what Armada Optimus Prime deserves. This is what Armada Optimus Prime always should have been. Um, whether you want the base, whether you want the vehicle, whether you want the small robot, or whether you want the combined robot, the only criticism that I can really levy, other than a couple of color points here and there, is a bit of a cumbersome transformation to get to base mode and a lacking waste for the smaller robot. Outside of that, this is what everybody says it is. Absolutely fantastic. It is an excellent, excellent Commander Class offering. And if this is your Optimus Prime, congratulations, because you guys have waited a long time to get a full-on, fully functional, fantastic version. And I think you've gotten exactly what you deserve. I hope you feel the same way. Let me know what you think about the Legacy Evolution Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime. Were you actually blown away by it? Because I'm, I'm, I'm smitten, I gotta say. Don't even like the guy. It's not my Optimus, and even I'm smitten. Let me know what you think of this guy. I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through spring. Or, of course, hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button. Stick around. Have some fun with us here on the channel. And don't forget, not for a moment, not for a second, that you right there, you do make a difference in the world. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old-fashioned way right here inside the videos.